where you sit down, give him or her a high five. Mwambie, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Lord. 
Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know how far you have gone. I don't know what kind of a mess you are in. But if your trust is in the Lord, there is something that God does when we return. Amen. Psalms 40 says that I waited patiently unto the Lord. The theme of our meeting is that hope deferred makes the heart sick. But a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. And when we talk of hope deferred, is hope that has not been fulfilled. Hope is something that you're waiting for. Something that you aspire. Something that you need. Something that you desire. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes what we desire is not fulfilled on time. Sometimes what we desire does not come to pass. And the Bible says that when the hope is postponed, when that hope is deferred, the heart gets sick. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know there are people who are feeling like right now their heart huh, is sick, yeah? I don't want to say why, but there are some people who are feeling, oh, my heart is, my heart is sick because there is a hope that it has been deferred. There is a hope that has been delayed. There is a hope that has been postponed. Praise the name of the Lord. But the Bible says that a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. And let me tell you, the only time you see the tree of life was in Genesis and in Revelation. When God created uh, uh, the Garden of Eden, that is where we first see the tree of life. And in the book of Revelation, after Jesus has conquered all, we see again the tree of life. Praise the name of the Lord. Tree of life is fulfillment. Hallelujah. But there is hope for those who have hoped in the Lord. Because I came to tell you that those who return to the Lord, God is not like a man. A man can promise you heaven and earth. But because they are limited, they might say, okay, ah. Uh, yeah? As in, Iyo mambo, wacha tujaribu. Wacha tujaribu tena. Praise the name of the Lord. But here, here we see David. He is in distress. But what is he doing? He is waiting patiently upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know why people don't wait? Do you know why they have to return? It is because they waited and gave up. Hallelujah. Amen. You waited until you, you gave up and then you decided, I'm going to find my own way. I am going to make this happen my own way. You waited for a financial miracle. You waited, you prayed, you fasted, and it did not come. You decided, okay, I'm applying some credit cards here. I'm going to make my own way. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You've waited for God to come through for you until you feel, I can't wait anymore. That is why people go away. That is why people leave. But it doesn't matter how far you had gone. Today, we have returned. Amen. We have returned. Amen. We have returned. And in the midst of the confusion, in the midst of that shame, the Bible says in Psalms 40 that David waited upon the Lord patiently. And Bishop said that we are not going to write a psalm that says, I cried unto the Lord and he did not hearken. Amen. Because at the time of David, the Bible says that when he cried upon the Lord, when he waited on the Lord, the Lord inclined his ear to his cry. So when we return and we call upon the name of the Lord, God responds. Tell, tell your neighbor he responds. Hello. Amen. The moment you set yourself to return to the Lord and start calling upon his name, he does not keep quiet. He does not just watch you. He responds. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that before you even called, I heard you. Before you even cried, I already knew. Before you called, I have already answered. And the Bible says that when you call, I will answer you. Praise the name of the Lord. At the point of returning, so that we don't go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The best thing we can do while waiting upon the Lord is call upon his name. You tell the Lord, things are not working out well, but I am here. I am waiting on you, oh God. That might seem like things are not happening. I don't have a job yet, but I will wait on you, oh God. I will continue to tell you, God, I need a job. I'm not going to find my own way. I am still calling upon you. I am still waiting upon you. Amen. And our 
God is faithful. Tell your neighbor, what does God do? What does God do? When you call him, he does what? He responds. Praise the name of the Lord. And number two, when he responds, the Bible says that he inclined his ear to his cry. Amen. Now, he gave David his full attention. There is those people who say that God does not even listen to me. God does not bother with me. Hallelujah. May you get God's attention today. Amen. May you catch his attention today. May you refuse to be silent and say, no, 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 no. I will continue to cry upon him. I am going to catch his attention. Because once you catch the attention of the Lord, he does the next thing. He rescues you. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, he rescues you. The Bible says that he rescued David. David was in a situation that was like a miry clay. I mean, a, a, a pit that was slippery. Amen. There was nowhere he could hold himself on. He was going down and sinking. He seemed like all hope is gone. But the only way he could look was up. Amen. Which other direction do you look when you're in a pit? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Look up. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that God heard his cry and he rescued him. Hallelujah. I don't know where you are. I don't know what has made you discouraged. But there is a God who has heard. There is a God who has responded. And there is a God who is ready to rescue you. He is ready to take you out of the pit. He is ready to take you out of that struggle. He is ready to take you out of your pain. He is ready to take you out of your shame. Because he is God. And when I speak of that, I speak with a lot of surety because I have seen God taking me out of pain. I have seen God taking me out of shame. I have seen God wiping my tears away. I have seen God giving me hope. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know what made you go away. I don't know what made you just give up. But I've come to tell you that when this God responds to you, he will rescue you. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, rescue is on the way. You know, that, like the way we call 911 and within minutes, yeah? Help is on the way. Praise the name of the Lord. Your rescue is on the way. And the Bible says that it doesn't end there. Hallelujah. How many have returned? Are we there? Have we returned? It doesn't end there. Some people think that when God rescues you, that is it. Mm -mm. He's not done with you. You think you can now take it from there? Like, okay, I've been rescued. I can take it from here. But the Bible says that after he rescued David, he restores. Amen. Tell your neighbor, restoration. restoration. Hallelujah. Amen. Because once we depart from the ways of the Lord, we lose a lot. Amen. David lost almost everything. He was going away crying. People could not even see his God. He was there, he's finished. A king with nowhere to sleep. A king hiding in the pit. And in this pit, it's just going down and down. But the Lord had his cry. The Lord rescued him from the pit. And the Bible says that he, the Lord set his foot upon the stone. God gave him restoration. And you know what it means to be set upon a rock? It means that you're not going down anymore. When the Lord does the work of restoration, when the Lord rescues you, he does not do it halfway. He does it all the way. It doesn't matter what you lost on the way, but when the Lord says, I am restoring, he restores double, he restores sevenfold, because he is God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, restoration. 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 And you know what happens when you are restored? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When the Lord restores, He is revered. Hallelujah. He is revered. 
Because the Bible says, and, and I'm going to read that verse. Uh, and he has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. When we move away from the Lord, when we get tired of waiting upon the Lord, when this just gets messed up, we are denying God a chance to be feared by the, the, the others. We are denying God a chance to be revered. We are denying God a chance to be known that he is able. But when you wait upon him and you say, I'm not going, I'm not going to move, I am going to stick here, I will continue seeking the Lord, my God will come through for me. When God comes through for you, we see with our eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Praise the name of the Lord. But when the Lord restores you, when the Lord restores you, you don't even need to tell us you're blessed. We come and see what the Lord has done. Because for sure, many shall see and fear the Lord. When God does it for you, you cannot afford to keep quiet. All you can do is sing praises to the Lord. When he comes through for you, praise the name of the Lord. He is revealed. And he is revealed. Amen. He is revealed. Hallelujah. That we are the people to make God known in our generation. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you are the person to make God known in your generation. And you know we don't have two generations to glorify God or to serve God's purpose. You can only serve God in your generation. You cannot wait for the generation of your children. Amen. You only serve the Lord in your generation. And that is why I always say to the youth, don't let anybody tell you that you're the leaders of tomorrow. Because tomorrow never comes. Serve the Lord now. Praise the name of the Lord. Serve the Lord now. This is our generation to manifest the power of God. When God did what he did upon David, made this so and they believed the Lord. Made this so and they trusted in the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Why are there so many people who don't even understand your God? Because you have refused him to be known. Hallelujah. Mahali tunafanya kazi. Amen. Mungu wako anajulikana. Huko shuleni mungu wako anajulikana. Praise the name of the Lord. Even here in church, among the brethren, is your God known? Is your God revered? Hallelujah. Or are you the person who sees somebody down? And you make sure that everybody else in the church knows. Praise the name of the Lord. You know there are people who are very good at that. They see you're down and they make sure that everybody knows you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When we have returned, because I want us to pray. We have returned. The Lord responds. The Lord rescues the Lord is revered and the Lord is revealed. Praise the name of the Lord. He is made known to the nation. He is made known to the people. The look and see what the Lord has done. We knew her story. 
We knew that she was gone. We knew that she was done. We knew she had lost hope. But look at her now. When she returned to the Lord, the Lord heard her cry. The Lord has rescued her. The Lord has restored her. And we can see with our eyes. You know when you're blessed until the blessed call you blessed, then you are blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, like some people say, you know you are poor if the poor call you poor. Eh? Come on to the maskini na nakuita. Maskini then where where the maskini. Praise the name of the Lord. And the same thing, you know you are blessed when the blessed call you. And when people come to you and seek the, the source of your blessing, you can direct them to the Lord. Amen. You will not stick in the presence of the Lord. You will not wait upon the Lord and be ashamed and be reproached. Because those who wait upon the Lord, the Bible says as I come to a close, they shall renew their strength. The Lord shall renew their strength. It doesn't matter whether you are down. Amen. I like the, the Kikuyu version. It says, Kaimotare moigwa. Kaimotoi ate Jehovah gaido ragone hinya. Naria mamwe tagirira niya mashoka geria hinya wa oria more to one go. Praise the name of the Lord. Those that wait upon the Lord, He shall renew their strength. And it is based on the foundation that the one who is renewing his, your strength does not need anybody to renew his strength. Hallelujah. God does not need anybody to renew his strength so that he renew your strength. You know, sometimes if you come to me, you want me to encourage you, and maybe I'm discouraged, I'll have to try and encourage myself first. <laughs> or get encouragement from somebody so that I can encourage you. But God is not like that. Praise the name of the Lord. He does not wait for somebody to empower him so that he can empower you. He is God and he is powerful. He, your strength shall be renewed. And the Bible says that they shall mount with wings like eagles. That means you are not doing the ordinary stuff. You are flying above the situation. You are flying above the difficulty situation. When people are crying around you, you are just flying above with wings like eagles. Because your strength is not in man, but your strength is in the Lord. The Bible says they shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not grow weary. Hallelujah. Wale mbo wana mgojia buwana. Tunaendelea kuona muna songa. Adu mwore nyeti kiyo yu naiguwa hubo ukire. Haya. Hallelujah. Haya mea kuwa gai. Ona kugebiatia. They are safe. Praise the name of the Lord. They are safe. They are safe. They are safe. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let, me, let us say it again. We have returned. Amen? Amen. We have returned. After you return, what does God do? He responds. Amen. Number two, he rescues you. Number three, he restores you. Number four, he is revealed. And number five, he is revealed. Amen. Aduma kamu etir. Amen. Unajua kuna kuna ile style tunaishi. Tuna make mungu etu edara uwewe. Vijana, wacha kufanya mungu wafanyue madharau. Amen. Usiaibishe mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. There is a way you stay and, and, and instead of God being blessed, and instead of God being revered, what happens? People look at him and they're like, aha, aha, they're laughing and wondering, where is your God? But can we stay there? Can we wait upon him? Can we wait upon him until people reverence him. Hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet. I believe you're going to become partakers of his restoration. For those that need to be rescued, the Lord is rescuing us today. For those that need a new song, a song of praise, a song of praise, a song of praise into our mouth, we shall not lament anymore. We shall not complain anymore because he has put in a new song. It doesn't matter whether you've been going down, but he is picking you up and putting you on a rock. And the rock, Jesus Christ, is the firm foundation and we shall not be shaken. Hallelujah. 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 Can we appreciate the woman of God in the name of Jesus? We can do better than that in Jesus' name. Now lift up your hands and just appreciate the Lord because of that word. 
Hallelujah. He is responding to your cry. Amen. He is responding to your cry. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend and Mrs. Uh, Joseph, for giving us a chance to minister. And God's willing, we are coming back again in the next service in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We honor you for you have spoken to us today, O oh God. We thank you because when you call, we call you hear and answer us, O oh God. We have responded with our givings, Lord, our tithes and offerings, dear Father. Offerings of thanksgiving, peace offerings, dear Father. Offerings, Lord, to show gratitude before your presence, dear Father. We declare that every giver is blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because your word says that we give and it shall come back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And men shall give to our bosom, dear Father. And your word says that when we give our tithes, O Lord, we try you. And you shall rebuke the devourer, dear Father. And you shall open the windows of heaven and rain a blessing that is so great until we have no room, dear Father. This is just a show of saying, Lord, thank you. We speak your blessing upon every giver. And those that have not given, dear Father, we pray that you're going to remember them in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare in Jesus' name, through this offering, oh God, for those that are stuck in financial difficulties, oh Lord, we declare that, Lord, you're going to rescue them, oh Lord. You're going to bless them, Lord, until the blessed call them blessed, dear Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For silver and gold belongs to you, dear Father. We give you praise and honor, King of all glory, in Jesus' name. We we pray. Amen. Amen. Why don't you put your hands together for the Lord in the name of Jesus for clarification?
Our lives is made up of time. And let me tell you something about time. People say that time gone cannot be redeemed. But let me tell you
kama ujinga Nani kama Mungu asiyeshindwa Akiwa mtu na mind you hawezi akashindwa Yeye ni Mungu Ni kama wewe Uliye sita kivu Alishinda kwa msalabani Nani kama Nada vai acontecer. 